We're here to just bring some laughter and some fun to your life and also talk about cooking together. We love cooking. I don't know why she's hiding over here. Come on over here. This is called the Gospel Kitchen with the Preacher and the Soprano. Only because it's not over until the beautiful lady sings. Wow, that was on cue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we get started, we're going to have to get ready. I'm going to take off my preacher coat and uh, put on my, my apron. And uh, today we are going to make... We're going to do some Daddy Maggie cookies, which are in here on page 223. 223. Anyway, here's some ingredients that you may want right here. Right here. Right here. Yeah, that'd be it. Right here. Daddy Maggie cookies. We need eggs. We need um, uh, chocolate chips and some butterscotch chips, some brown sugar, some granulated sugar, some gold metal, all-purpose flour. Anyway, that would be flour, um, and some baking soda, some butter, and some vanilla. Pure vanilla extract. Not none of that fake stuff. That's like having a fake Jesus. We got pure vanilla extract. There you go. We're back. What a great commercial vacation that was. Anyway, here's Allison. She's coming to help cook because that's where a woman belongs. It's in the kitchen. Um, please don't slap the back of my head. Okay, so anyway, we're going to look. We need three quarters of a cup of sugar. I'm going to go get sugar for Miss Allison. We need three quarters of a cup of sugar. Uh, she's going to use these really cool things that um, some wonderful person gave me one time. And uh, if she knows how to work it, it's a measuring cup. Anyway, uh, three quarters. That would be three fourths. Three dash four. Gotcha. Gotcha. You need some help? Let me rip it open for you. That ain't even three quarters. That's, yeah. like, that's like five eighths or something. I don't even know that ain't full. I think three quarters of five eighths. <laughs> All right, three quarters of a cup of sugar. We need three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. I got the brown sugar. I'm the getter. I'm the getter. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. We need one cup of butter softened. One cup of butter softened. Now, so for those of you who don't know anything, I hope your hands are clean <laughs> and you're making a mess. <laughs> this was like cooking around here. You can't get good help nowhere. Good yes. help is just messy. Well, at least you can do the same while you're cooking because your, your handling skills are terrible. <laughs> anyway, um, we need one cup of sugar. So. In case you're interested in here, it tells you, duh, but this is, this is cooking for dummies. Gospel Kitchen 101, <laughs> because we all need Jesus when we cook. Anyway, one teaspoon, excuse me, tablespoon, two, three, four. And if you look down here, it's got half cup over here, third quarter. We're going to use two sticks of butter, which is one cup of butter. Notice, softened. Whee, yeah, softened Real butter. butter. Yeah, real butter. None of, that, none of that fake stuff. Gotta have real butter. We need uh, two eggs. You have to mix that well first. Have to mix that well first. Will you mix that well? Sing while you work. Two eggs. Let's see what else we need. Uh, Two and a half cups of flour. Two and a half cups of flour. We're mixed. We're mixed. And it looks yummy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're still cooking. So keep it going. What you got there? Two eggs, adding two eggs. Now while she's 
doing that, I'm going to grab some paper to line up. Man. We're fortunate enough here to have um, these pan paper liners, and they work really well with cook If you don't have that, you can put down wax paper or um, cooking paper. I think I just made that up, but that's okay. Anyway. All right. Now we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla, the real thing vanilla. Vanilla. That's what my nephew used to say, vanilla. Okay. Teaspoon of vanilla. Do you add salt? It doesn't say add salt yet. Read the directions. Stir flour, soda, and salt. Mix them well. Now we can do Ain't that. real gospel around here, is it? <laughs> The gospel is truth. Half cup. Whew, she appeared. <laughs> Golly, you're shaking the whole table there. <laughs> oh, salt. One teaspoon. It's listed in the cookbook twice, but that's a mistake. Twice. Y'all hear that? Twice. <laughs> Twice, it's listening. <laughs> Here. How much? One teaspoon of each. One teaspoon of each. Why am I doing it? That'd be good for something. That ain't mixed, does it? Second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that ain't mixed, you angel, you. <laughs> The gospel vision. <laughs> We've got a lot of work to do around here, I promise you. <laughs> We're trying. <clears throat> All right, what's next? We really do love each other. Oh, your eyes. <laughs> Go ahead and add a few more chocolate chips. It's uh, what I'm going to do. But 
butterscotch. Now, says you can do peanut butter chips. Though. Peanut butter chips would be good, but they didn't have any. Yeah. Oh, guys, again. Tyler, how you put up with this job? Second. If y'all are out there watching, pray for Tyler. He, he really needs it. <laughs> and, and see here, the thing is, Allison's going to edit this, and I bet she edits that out. <laughs> All right, now, we mix all this together, right? Yep. And then what? And then we put it on our grease cookie sheet. For grease 10 to 12 cookies. minutes, almost 350. 10 to 12 minutes. Now, what I have found is that it usually takes longer than 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, it just it just does. You kind of have to watch them. And then the other thing is you have to, uh, it depends on what kind of cookie you want. And I'm not being a smart aleck. Um, that would be unusual, I know, but I'm not. Uh, it, it depends on whether you like a, a softer cookie or whether you like a, a, a crunchier cookie. I tend to lean a little bit more toward the crunchy than I do the salt. But, uh, so what we'll try to do is kind of hit a, a happy medium there. Now, what we've got here, you can see we've got a, a nice little cookie mixture here. Um, and I'll try not to dump it too sideways so that, and it's very chunky with all kinds of goodness, like morsels and um, some good pecans. And every one of you who's a pecan person, you're like, man, I wish you'd stop that. But anyway, this is what we got. And so I went home and grabbed a thingamabob. So uh, Allison, show them what a thingamabob is. A thingamabob is a, it's a melon scooper is actually what it is. And part of the reason is I like the size that it does for the cookies. And it, it, none of them are gonna be perfect, but they'll all be semi the same size. Semi the same size, how about that? Anyway, it's what we're gonna have. And um, because I use a, a, a piece of paper for that, I typically do not um, use cooking spray. I, I, uh, and it usually does just fine. So what we're gonna do here in just a few moments is we're gonna kind of make these balls out here, cookie balls, and put them on a sheet, and then we'll start cooking. Everybody really wants you to put your hands in everything they touch. So yeah. That was facetious. Um, that means sarcastic. If I put that my means... hand in it, it makes it sweeter. Tyler, Tyler, do something with this girl. <clears throat> you gotta tell her where you want to get her. <laughs> Here it comes. Make my time and show's over. Gospel Kitchen. You know, part of the Gospel Kitchen is, is um, in the Bible we see a lot about hospitality. And uh, the truth is, we're doing this show just to kind of make you laugh. We're doing this show to kind of give you some ideas of some things you can do. But we're also doing this as, as we uh, cook some of these things. We're not going to eat them. Well, not all of them. We're going to give them away. And that's the idea of giving. Man, it sure changes your life. Um, think about the blessings you've gotten when you have been able to give. Have you ever noticed when you plan to serve that you forget about your other problems? As a matter of fact, when we're in here doing this and, and I'm just kind of hanging out, cutting up and giving Allison a hard time. And by the way, she gives it back. She's just not doing it on, on, on film so she can't be called guilty. But when, we're <laughs> when, when we serve, you ever noticed how you kind of forget your own stuff? Just being in here and... Um, Part of the reason we decided to do the Gospel Kitchen with the Preacher and the Soprano is, number one, we enjoy cooking. But number two, we enjoy doing it for other people. We do it a lot. 
a lot of folks don't know, and, and that's okay. But um, we thank you for your willingness to watch and your willingness to, uh, to give and to serve. All right, let me see if I can get you another pan. If I don't remember correctly from this recipe, I, I think I used to get somewhere about maybe five dozen cookies out of this one recipe. Now, I uh, will count here in just a moment and see, but uh, if I remember correctly, that's about what we used to get. So she got 24 on the first one. You certainly did not <laughs> remain consistent, but that's okay. got 20 on the second one. Close. So basically you got 44. So yeah, I think we'll probably be close to, to five dozen or, or so. Five or six dozen. got 57 cookies out of that first batch. And so that's about right. Somewhere between 50 and 60, depending on whether Allison's scooping them or not. Well, our cookies are getting done. Well, these turned out pretty good. Um, they look really like yummy and those are waiting to go in while Allison plays on the computer. And I was washing dishes. This is what happened to the ones on the bottom. Oh gosh, that scares me. No, me, I'm not even sure my dog would eat that. Anyway, don't put the, the pan on the bottom rack close to the, to the burners. Not a good idea. I should have been smarter. Nobody ever said I was a cook.